he was able to clutch it out versus Tweak. Pretty much like, I think everyone can kind of agree that he's the best player right now. Yeah. So, I mean, and that that's like everyone agrees on that. So, pretty that's much like taking out the best player in the world. Yeah, this is definitely one of those Cinderella stories happening right in front of our eyes. This man also took out Elephant in the process. A lot of people were excited to see him potentially against Salem in the loser side of top eight that was projected. But Schroeder is just a dream killer, man. He's just here in winner side, and he's the one fighting Salem right now. And already off to a great start, comboing off of that grenade explosion. Ooh, keeping... Yeah, and that, that's the one thing about Snake. Very crazy monster of a character on stage, but once you get him in the air, once you get him off stage, you, it's time to get that damage, time to get that stock. So he's very glass cannon in terms of just like how he is on stage, and he's just like one of the best setup characters in the game. Right. Alternatively, you do have those grenades. You do want, as the Snake main, to detonate them, get those traits. He is the heavier character most of the time, so he's going to survive it a lot more often than his opponent. But right now, pretty much going to even. The dash attack going to go in, and we got the Nikita comes in, and mm. he uses the teleport to go back around it. Yeah, really good straddle sneak coming out from Schroeder. And it's also a hitbox as well. It's a little lag on the laggier side, but really, really great option. And we also have the water shurikens as well. Going to have some kind of range projectile to at least contest this snake setting up projectiles. Yeah. All right, he drops a grenade, tries to set up something there. Goes in for another dash attack. He's always keeping a grenade behind him. I wonder if that's going to be useful later on. Maybe get a back throw, trying to set up into another explosion or something. Yeah, it's really interesting, too, because I, I, it feels like Salem really likes these setup characters, so I, I'm really glad that he's starting to pick up Snake. I, I think it really fits him, mm -hmm. and, you know, a lot of top players are having trouble, but the up tilt is going to take that stock, calling out that Shadow Sneak. Yeah, and like we said before, it is a hitbox, so just being able to use that up tilt, beat it out on the right timing and everything. Very impressive from Salem. <laughs> trying to go in for the rocket launcher. Not quite going to work out. Down smash sends it a terrible angle. Let's see if he can get the Ooh. jungle and he gets the shadow sneak but it takes him to the other side. He's still got a big opportunity. Gets the up smash but the corner DI is right there for Salem to keep surviving here. Dude, he's still alive. That's just so insane. Now Salem living already up to 162%. Any more damage. I, he can still afford to trade with grenades too. That's the scary part about Snake. What, if, you, if you don't take the stock, it's just, it can be really scary. Now he's got to get through these minefields of all these explosives. Yeah. Ooh, guess that up smash too. Every single time he attacks on even just a little bit of damage. It's a big victory for Salem yeah. to continue on his lead. Already at 173. Finally going to get clipped by that fair. Stroder, only 66%. That's one big Greninja combo away from bringing it back to even. Yeah, and Greninja is definitely a character that um, kind of snuck a, a underneath a lot of people's radar. Japan definitely thought very highly of the character because of Leia. And we saw Leia's performance at Frostbite, and now a lot of people are more so believers of this character. This character can do a lot of crazy things. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I was talking to Stroder earlier. He was thinking, you know, if things go well, Stroh or, excuse me, Greninja might be a top three character potentially. Just the way he's been able to play it out, get that read, and get the F smash, Stroder! Such a beautiful call out on that directional air dodge to keep things in, but the up tilt gonna even it up. Now we're on a last stock situation here, game one. Man, that forward smash read was so sick. Like, he killed Snake at 90% after the hit. Like, that is so early for Snake to be losing a stock. But we are, you know, at this last stock situation here, and now Salem just setting up shop, but uh, Schroeder going to get this uh, get this dash attack, get things started here. Yeah, of course, that dash attack is a great setup to be able to get uh, those up airs, those up smashes at the later percents. It's great uh, combo too. Just in general, I mean, very similar to how to work in Smash 4, but maybe even a little bit better because uh, on the late or on the later area of the hitbox, if you DI in, then you still get the combo. And if you get the early inward part of the hitbox, it's still a guaranteed combo, basically. So very great uh, setup for Schroeder to get something started. Man, and right now, Salem just getting so much percent, only 54 on this man. And it's just, it's so hard for Schroeder to get in right now. Salem's doing such a good job setting up all these traps, and it just, it's, it's giving Schroeder a really hard time. Finally finds a dash attack into the forward air, but gets a grenade trade. Oh, just barely avoiding that up tilt. He's scared of it, you can tell. He's just trying to be right outside that range. Gets another down tilt, throws away the grenade because he doesn't want to get interrupted during that setup. Ooh, tried to get the tech chase, and right, he has to be careful. If he's at 160% and he gets grabbed, that's going to be curtains, but the punish on the F-Smash Salem will take game number one. Now, I mean, who needs to grab? You can just do it raw, you know? Yeah, exactly, and, you know, Salem, I, I feel like Schroeder was fishing a little bit. One thing about that F-Smash, it is a disjoint, so you can space it, but not correctly spaced on block, and, you know, Snake's up to just has an insane amount of range. <laughs> Beautiful carpet there. <laughs> yeah. 
Alrighty. Let's see if Stroder's going to stick with the same. Okay. Uh, we were talking about this earlier. He mm -hmm. said if the game one doesn't go work out with the Greninja, he's going to go to Mario. He's played uh, Mario at back in his hometown. Okay. And he's basically never dropped the game against that uh, snake. And okay. then, uh, as Mario, he's, he's never dropped the game. So this is uh, potentially something we can see here. Yeah, and Schroeder is, I mean, he was a pretty much a Greninja main all of Smash 4, but in this game, he's definitely exploring his horizons. He's going so many different characters. Even in the early meta of this game, I saw him going like three to four different characters at these bigger tournaments. So definitely not a stranger of being able to go off of his comfort zone, his comfort pick being Greninja, and exploring these other characters. Yeah. The big question, though, is going to be how does uh, Mario get in in this kind of matchup? Greninja is one of those high speeds, high jumps, and nice um, you know airspeed in general. So it's just a little bit of an easier time, it seems, to be able to get it in. And it looks like Salem is playing that to an advantage, just keeping himself away, throwing out those grenades, making it difficult for Stroder to get anything started. But finally, he gets the up air strings. Not going to finish off with anything, though. Yeah, the one justification is that airspeed from Mario, that Cypher doing a really good job, and wow, the Nikita in disadvantage. Gonna catch the air dodge with the up tilt, Salem taking the first stock. Alrighty. Ooh, wow. when you get the, all the hits of the Nair Man, you just blink and all of a sudden you're at 50%. Wow, and he, yeah, just off of one grenade confirmed, 50 damage here for Salem. Oh, wow, what a call out from Schroeder. Yeah, I mean, of course, that move is a lot stronger than ones in Smash 4. Kills a lot more reliably, especially on a low ceiling stage like Pokemon Stadium. Yes. But he's still having a hard time trying to make his way in. Every time the explosion just tacks on the damage for Schroeder, it's just a demoralizing experience for sure. Yeah, it's just scary. Uh, the main approach that Mario's going to have is coming in through the air, but Schroeder has been having difficulties making that happen. And Salem still on his second stock, not taking a single percent. Yeah, just uh, keeping his time, just uh, keeping himself away. Finally going to get clipped right there, trying mm. to play with the grenade a bit, finally get that dare. Not yeah, able to set up to anything else, though. Yeah, and now now Salem's just playing into Snake's plan. He's getting all these uh, getting all these trades, and right now they're all in his advantage. Right now, Stroder in kill percent, but we get an up air. Can he continue this combo all the way up to the top? And he does. He is going to take that stock just like that with that Mario up air combo. Of course, Snake is a character that is very easy to juggle. It's like we said before, a juggling situation, Snake's a character that can uh, really be susceptible to that high yeah. damage output. But one up tilt is going to go ahead and bring things back to an even situation yet again. Both of these two have been starting on their last stock um, at even percent, basically. Yeah, that Snake up tilt being the equalizer. Again, another conversion off of the grenade. And just the fact that Salem is converting off these stray grenades, that's one thing I I don't see Snakes doing too often. They, they just keep wanting to set up more. But, but Salem is aware. He sets up all these grenades like, well, I'm going to be in this area. If this grenade explodes, if I get this hit, I'm going to convert it to even to more damage. Oh, gets a combo, though. Brings himself back up, picks him up with the up airs. Is he going to continue to string? He does. Gets the up B, but it's still not enough. Yeah, and right there, I mean, maybe another up air, but I mean, I, I definitely see him catching out. Another up air string. Going to get this reset, though. Really good um, pivot grenade from Salem, but he's still on the ropes here. Strodo has all the control here on this last stock. Yeah, he's definitely going high. Drops a C4 just to discourage that juggle position, and he's able to make it back on the ground. Up smash, trying to protect himself, but he still gets that back air. Yeah, and right there, that cape doing a really good job. Really great tool against that up smash. Tries to get the air dodge to the ledge, but the up smash will connect. And now Stroder 1-1 here against Salem. And another thing to note that we haven't mentioned yet, guys, this tournament is a little special. It's the last chance qualifier for Ultimate Summit. Yeah. And that is a very big deal. Um, and I mean, so far in this top eight bracket, I believe the only one that is already in Summit is ZD, right? Yeah. So pretty much whoever places the highest out of everyone, excluding um, ZD, will get that last Summit spot. It's going to be a bloodbath, man. Like. Yes, and I'll tell you right now, every player wants that spot, and it's such a big deal. That's a crazy big tournament, crazy big invitation that every player wants to be at. So right now, both of these players trying to get to that winner's finals just to increase their chances. Yeah. All righty, here we go, though. We're going to Kalos this time. A lot more room for Salem to yes. be able to set up this stuff. And, of course, that platform, too. A little bit outward more than Pokemon Stadium. So he's going to avoid uh, those uh, up air combos a little bit more. Yeah, I, I think this stage is really great for zoners. You have that platform by the edges. Usually zoners are going to be pushed to the corner. Having that extra out in terms of positioning with that platform is going to be a very, very big deal here for Salem. And on top of that, we got a higher ceiling. 
So his up tilts might kill a little later, but I don't think we're going to see him getting laddered too often. Yeah. I mean, that up tilt in general is just still a very strong move regardless. Yeah, so it kind of doesn't like, matter. Yeah, I feel like it would just be a guaranteed kill anyway. Gets that jab in, puts him back in an off stage situation, and that dash attack, of course, it is intangible on the arm, so you got to be careful about that. And another up tilt, not quite going to be able to do it, but still the damage is tacked on to Schroeder here. Oh, I like the crouch from Salem, but Schroeder going to get the up air. Great DI coming out from Salem, and the pivot grenade as well to catch on the landing. And we got the parries on point, too. Salem playing very, very clean. Yeah, you can do those turnaround Bs and the B reverse grenades to be able to get a little bit of extra mobility on your landing. In addition to the C4, you can have a couple of mix-ups that Snake to be able to land on the ground. It's not just a guaranteed, oh, I'm in the air, I'm, it's done. Like, I'm going to get calm to death or anything like that. <laughs> exactly. And it's a really great defensive tool as well. And like we said, Snake is all about the trade. So even though if both of you guys get hit, it's kind of what Snake wants in the end. So now Salem trying to get this pressure going. I mean, oh, but the second one connects. He reflects the first one, but Salem had the second one Hot and ready. Yeah. Very smart from Stanley. He knew that the timing will work out even with the cape. He's not going to get clipped before that smash comes out. And is he going to be able to take that next stock? Wow. And right now, Salem just, like I said, I just feel like this character is so fitting for him. I think he really feels at home with this character. And I mean, a lot of players were doing that soul search during the first couple months. And I, I think Salem just really found his pick. Before it was with the Link, uh, he was able to get some pretty good results with it, but uh, it looks like the Snake is working out. He's tweeted before that he's been winning all of his locals with Snake. And of course, this was the big conversation starter uh, for between Salem and Leffen that caused that whole shenanigans. And I think Salem wants to prove something here by yep. going Snake as if, well. If Salem gets in the summit, like, oh man, that Twitter, <laughs> that Twitter is popping off. Like, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just telling you guys right now, forewarning, that Twitter is popping off. So we'll see if Salem can do it right now. I mean, he's up against Schroeder, but Schroeder, the grenade actually messed the combo up. Yep. I mean, that, that's a thing that occasionally happens with Link 2. You grab the bomb, exactly. and then all of a sudden your combo gets interrupted. The same deal is going to happen here, but of course with Snake, you can do multiple grenades, so there's more chances to interrupt your combo. And it looks like it's working out just fine. Nikita's going to come up. It's going to drop to the ground, but uh, Schroeder's going to get that grab instead. Take him to the top. And with the ceiling of Kalos, really amazing counter pick coming out from Salem. Oh, the... Yeah, the downer's still not even close to killing as well. Salem just going to really comfortably go high here, drop down with the grenades. Oh, my Lord! Salem with the conversions! He was wow. ready for that, man. He was so ready for that explosion just to be able to catch Schroeder on his landing, and he was in the right position to get that up there all the way in the skies there. And I just feel like that's what separates the, the good from the great snakes. He is ready to convert off of those grenades. He's not just constantly setting up a flow chart. He's ready to convert off of any of these stray explosions. And that is nailing him so much stocks. It's nailing him so much damage. All right, trying to use the flood, experimenting a little bit, I think, to see how it interacts uh, with the grenades and the projectiles. Schroeder still got to figure out his way in. The C4 is gone finally. Gets that out smash. It's going to take a little bit of damage from the nades, but at least he's putting him in a last stock situation again. Yeah, definitely worth here for Salem, but already striking right back, almost getting that downer. And that shield pressure as well from the grenades. He's still going to get punched, but very impressive setup from Salem. Ooh, I love that, yeah. the little pivot, trying to get that forward tilt out. One of the stronger hitboxes that Snake can throw out to keep people zoned out. Yeah, and Salem's also doing a really good job of offensively using his grenades. He has a grenade set up by Schroeder. He'll come in and dash attack and pick up the grenade with the dash attack as well. So it's like, oh, you want to punish me? We're going to go trade if you go ahead and punish me with that. So again, Salem just the a, a great mix of offense and defense with all these explosives. Yeah, the C4, he dropped one, but I'm not sure. Oh, he might have exploded it, actually. I was worried it might have actually landed on Schroeder because it does have a sticky property, of course. But setting up the grenades, making a hesitant to land back down from the platform. Man, and these pivot grenades are doing such a good job of just securing Salem all these landing. And it, it's just doing such a good job of setting up all these traps. But Schroeder taking his time. He's not going to get too frustrated at this snake. Oh, man, he was looking for a roll right there. When you see the snake wiggle around his controller, looking for that up tilt, but still going to catch it on the anti-air. Yeah, and right now Salem is up 2-1 against Schroeder, the man who put Tweak in the losers. So that is very, very impressive and Man, with the snake as well, I, like I said, I, I really love the Kalos counterpick. We'll see what counterpick we're going to get here from Schroeder. But yeah, just really great play and really great usage of that counterpick. And we saw it come into play so many times. Yeah. Just having all that room to work with, having that platform to retreat on and set up on. And as well as we saw him survive one of the ladders that he previously died to. But with the higher ceiling of Kalos, it really clutched it out there for him. Yeah. I think uh, when I glimpsed at the screen, it looked like that he's going back to the same stage. I don't know if we're getting a character change. 
potentially. We'll have to see. Yeah, like I mean, like we pointed out before, Schroeder has a lot of different characters he has access to. Um, it looks like we're going to go back to the tried and true, though, and I definitely agree with this pick. I think there are some other picks that he could have gone with, but I definitely want to see him back on that Greninja. Yeah, we'll see how it works on this stage here. Potential last game for Salem to make it into the winner's finals. Wow, just stood there, called out still Schroeder in his shield. He'll be able to get that grab, start things off here. Yeah, and right now, I mean, very interesting that Schroeder went ahead and counterpicked two Kalos. I mean, maybe he's just very comfortable with Greninja on this stage. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see how it works out here. Yeah. And of course, what we talked about before, uh, of course, your ninja, that higher burst option speed with that um, ground speed, it's going to be able to go through those grenades and just, before they even detonate, be able to get something started. Yeah, I did like the Mario pick. I think it played well. But I, I, at this point, I feel like, you know, Salem has gotten a really good feel of that Mario, and it, it's time to go to the main. And the Shadow Sneak will close it out. Only 11% on Stroder starting yeah. this game number four. Oh, try to counter the explosion, it'll look like, to try and mix things up there. Not quite going to work out, but still, like you said, very great start for Stroder here. And I really like how Stroder is spacing these forward airs as well. We see Salem setting up all these grenades. The down air? No, it goes for the counter. Wow, that was so smart from the Cypher. Yeah. And like you said, you have access to this dash attack. And right Ooh. now, oh man, so much damage. Nice tech. Okay, going to make it back on. But that back air, very strong, very long-lasting hitbox. Going to be able to clip him one more time. Nikita, a little bit dangerous, even with the Shadow Sneak. Still right there to be able to catch him. And <laughs> one more time, you cannot come back from this stage. Back to back to back. And time and time again, I will talk to some of these snake players, these top snake players, and they will say Nikita is one of their strongest tools when edge guarding. And it's so safe. You're staying on stage. You're shooting out a projectile that can kill. It's a, it's a very strong tool to have and definitely one of Snake's stronger tools. And we're seeing it being abused here by Salem. Exactly. Ooh. Ooh, clips him with the explosion one more time, catches that defensive option, able to get that dash attack, but Stroder trying to get something started with a reversal, but doesn't get anything, but he's still maintaining his position, gets that up tilt, Ooh, tries to get a drag down, but doesn't get the up tilt in time. Oh, whoa, he oh, wait, wait a minute, he's not done, he's not done, he keeps the pressure up, he gets the forward air, my god. Oh, just called out all of those defensive options. Salem trying his best to survive, make it back, but Stroder was there and ready. Bounces oh. off of the stage <laughs> and gets the wall clean to avoid that forward smash. So smart from Stroder, pulling out all the stops here, keeping him himself alive here in game four. There's that dash attack. He gets the dash attack, but since he picked up the grenade, he wasn't able to convert. A very Another very strong thing about Snake here. And right now, Salem needs to get rid of this stock. We see him fishing for the up tilt, but Stroder is not giving it to him. Oh, and you're going to hear the crowd cheering every time he gets an up air one more time. Take him with the back air, but the grenade is going to be able to interrupt oh. him. But he still gets that up smash. Doesn't Are get the second hit, though. Oh, wow. Beautiful directional air dodge to the ledge. Oh, another forward air here. Stroder maybe looking to get a two stock. The Shadow Sting almost connects, but Salem with no punish on that up B. Oh, the down tilt not quite going to be able to take the stock yet. And he's looking for that up tilt, and he tries to get the juggle, and he does put some off stage yet again with that. Up smash, but no counter, no substitution, gonna be able to take the stock yet. But Stroder's still at one. Oh, is that it? The up air is not gonna take it. Wow, 130% Salem holding on, but Stroder is still holding on to this second stock. Let's see how he tries to get out of that boxing situation. Oh, the down smash just out of nowhere. Still not enough directional air dodge, gonna save Salem right there. He brings us up back, but the shadow sneak. <laughs> The pressure is relentless <laughs> even when he goes low. Nowhere to go. Stroder bringing it to game five here. Wow, Stroder is on point with these edge guards. And what a way to go into game five with the with a two stock on your counter pick. Like, all right, son, you got that last game. We'll bring it right back to your counter pick, and I'm going to slap you. And I'm going to go into this game five with the momentum. We'll see what Salem can do to try and break this uh, momentum from Greninja. And another scary thing is Greninja is a character that you get so much things started. It's a very momentum-based character. You get all these combos going. So if Schroeder's feeling himself and he gets his offense going, I can see Salem getting run over this game number five. Yeah. We're going back to Pokemon Stadium, the original stage that we started out, which Salem won on. No Mario to save Schroeder on this stage here. But he's already getting a great start, 31% to start things off here on this fifth game. They're gonna use the sh uh, now. Shorter got his, you know, good damage in the beginning. Now gonna use the water shuriken. He's not gonna overextend too much. The frame trap here gonna get it. Oh man, trying to catch this landing here. B beautiful grenade from Salem. Oh, space around that dash attack. No grenades that time around to set up into that. So Schroeder is going to be content to get this combo going. 99%. Amazing start already for Schroeder. Gets called up on that defensive option though. Salem's going to get that grab. Nothing else though. 
And honestly, can Salem play the game right now? Schroeder is all over him, and he's just not letting him breathe. And then even when Salem does have time to set up, it's not really amounting to anything. You know, Schroeder just disengages, lets the water shurikens do the work. Finally, um, Salem going to get something started here with the down airs. Yeah, try to read a roll or something. He had that grenade pressure there to avoid Schroeder going that direction, but Schroeder very smart, just stayed in place, did not give Salem what he wanted. Ooh, good jump away from the grab, but rolls right into the up smash. Salem has evened this up right quick and not going to be able to catch that landing. All right, C4's in the way. Gives Salem a little bit of time to just think about what to do. No! Oh, no. Directional air dodge from Schroeder is going to result in an SD there, and Salem is definitely going to take that. Is he going to get the forward air? No, he doesn't. Does he catch the landing? Yes, he does with the backer. Going to have an offstage situation and tries to connect the Shadow Sneak, but not going to work out. Yeah, it at least applies the pressure to make Salem go high so that Schroeder has enough time to potentially get another juggle. So I still like the idea of putting on that pressure with the Shadow Sneak. Eventually, maybe you'll put the thought of it into Salem's mind and then be able to go for a different kind of edge guard. But right now, he's got to focus on getting the stock next before yeah. things get hairy, and he will do it with just oh. with the fair. And only taking 13%, and I'll tell you right now, um, Schroeder was trying to take it slow and steady. You're not going to get Salem to approach you, even especially with the lead. But so eventually, Schroeder opened him up with the forward air. Really great job. Ooh, gets an air here, and the frame trap yeah. almost gets the tech chase. Mm -hmm. Still got the follow-up even after that first dash attack missed, yeah. so good stuff to Schroeder. Going to get clipped by that back air, putting him off stage one more time. Ooh, beautiful roll reaction right there from Salem, and he's setting up shop, getting all these up smashes and grenades going in. Right now, Schroeder having a little trouble getting in. Let's see how he tries to make his way in. Of course, Salem just uh, content to do those B-reverses and dash away, trying to figure out how Salem is going to try to approach and get something off of it. Yeah, trying to set up these grenades and still going here. Schroeder, I like that he's taking his time. He's not rushing it. Going to get hit by that forward tilt. Salem setting up shop here on the ledge trap. Definitely one of Snake's strongest things. He can just set up so many of these traps. Almost converts it into the up air. Yeah, if he was looking for that up tilt, well, he's going to get it right there. But not going to get that up air. Still closes out the stock. Green Ninja, even with that jump height, that up smash looked like it was giving him trouble trying to make it back to the stage. And at only 66% here on Salem, Snake is a very, very heavy boy. So it's going to be a lot of trouble here. And Salem, or Schroeder's going to have to rack up a lot more damage before he even thinks about getting this next stock. Yeah, I mean, what we've seen before, if Schroeder can get a good read, he can kill Snake at a potentially 90. So we'll have to see how it goes down. Does not get clipped by the forward smash. Oh, man, this is looking so grim for Schroeder here. The counter gets, wow, and he's already at 85%. He's taking so much damage. Does not out. get the grab. Whips it right there. Gets another dash attack. This is slowly starting to fade away from Schroeder. The possibility of winner's finals as Salem goes in. Does not get that up smash, but gets a fair. Puts him off stage one more time. Yeah, and right now Schroeder is trying to overwhelm him with this pressure, trying to get this kill, but he just he can't find it. Salem's, doing, Salem's defense is doing such a good job of holding on to this stock. And oh. now he has to be scared and respect the snake up tilt. Yeah. How does he make his way in, though? Throws out the shuriken, puts him into shield. Okay, spaces him out with the fair. Yeah, fair has definitely been the, the star player, I feel like. Gonna catch the landing here. No, doesn't want to commit because that grenade was there and ready. Yeah. Oh, he's in the minefield right now. Yeah, he's he gonna had, make he it had out to though. get out, man. Yeah. He had to get out. Yeah. Luckily, Snake's a little slow, so he's not going to just dash in. He's like, okay, you're in the minefield. I'm going to go get that up tilt. But the dash dance is pressuring him into the roll. Guess the Nikita doesn't get the rocket hitbox, though. Oh, and is the up air going to be enough? No. Ooh, gets the down tilt, but not able to convert. He's too high of a percent. And can he get the landing? No, he doesn't. But Salem almost taking himself out with his own grenade. Oh, and he's going real. <laughs> what? He just hydro pumped him off the top. You know, I saw him do that first, and I was thinking, no way. There's no way he's going to land that. Oh, no, the up smash. That's going to be it. Great play from Stroder, winning our hearts there with that play. But Salem is going to be the one making in the winner's finals here. Yeah, and just a very unfortunate SD. Un like, it, it was just so unfortunate. But nonetheless, both players played it out till the end. Really